what up everybody so uh here we go our introduction to transformations practice um this one's gonna be nice and short so one thing i want to notice is i said on the test you have to write complete sentences so you'll see in my uh unit two review video there uh when you when you end up watching that one um that we do write those complete sentences i'm gonna write the complete sentence for the first three because it gives us our first three and then after that i'm gonna go lazy style and just not write those complete sentences if you feel like you need to practice writing those complete sentences you do that Otherwise, we're just going to hop right into it. So our three uh, transformations, the first three are the only ones that we have. So the first one here, this one is going to be called a translation. And that is if you like pick it up and move it. Pick up and move. Um, you could also think about it as a slide around. So it's kind of like you're doing this one, you're kind of moving it left and right, up and down, wherever it's going. And the easiest way to figure out what you're doing with it is by picking a single letter here and then counting where it's moving. You're always going to be moving from the letter to the one with a tick mark on it, and we say prime. So this is from B to B prime, and that's how you pronounce that one, B to B prime. After that, we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six down. So we're going down six. And then it looks like we're going one to the right. So our complete English sentence for this one is this triangle has been in the correct word for pick up and move or for slide around is the word translation. This triangle has been translated six units down and one unit right. There we go. Easy peasy. We're going on to question number two. So this one, if you notice, I can't just say I picked it up and moved it. I can't say that I slid it around because it's like upside down from where it was before. If you wanted to, you could actually fold the paper up. And if you folded the paper right on top, I don't know if you can even see from in between. It's kind of too hard to see on the video. But the main idea is if I folded on top of this line here and I folded it down, it, this C would be on top of this C, this B would be on top of this B prime, this D would be on top of this D prime. And because of that, we call that a reflection. So to flip, and you can either flip upside down or left and right. Um, so you either flip up and down or again, left and right. And left and right would be over the y-axis. This one is over the x-axis. And the correct word here is going to be the word reflected. Um, so we're going to go ahead and circle this one there. Is that answer? And maybe like underline the word translated. That's like the main word you're looking for. This one is this triangle. has been reflected over the x-axis. By the way, um, some books don't use the word over here. They use the word about. I like using the word about when it comes to the rotation questions. So that's what I'm going to do. And in fact, that's what's coming up on this one. Uh, number three, this one's kind of like you're twisting it. Twist. And you're always doing it around the center for these questions. You are allowed to do ones that are not around the uh, center, but we're not going to do those this particular year. So we're just going to be waiting until next year or a later time to do ones that aren't around the center. So you're twisting it around the center. One thing that's really important is for math, the twists are always to the left. Always to the left. If it's to the right, it would actually be a negative angle. We're going to go ahead and be saying we're always going to the left. So uh, remember when I say to the left, it's like you're twisting the paper to the left. So you're twirling it this way. So this one here is going to be going from L to L prime. Please note, if you were in my first period honors geometry, I did that backwards in class. I was too tired in the morning. That's my ex That's my excuse. I have no more excuses, but somehow I decided this was the uh, to the right. I knew that's the rule, but I decided that was right. Whatever. I'm done talking now. Um, we're mo always moving to the left. In the event that you move over one quadrant, if you go over one um, one quadrant, by the way, if you forgot the word quadrant from an earlier uh, video, uh, a quadrant is like, this is our first quadrant, this is our second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, it's the section of the, the graph. If you move one quadrant, it's 90 degrees. If you move two quadrants, I'm just gonna write the word quad, it's 180 degrees, and if you move three quadrants, 
it's 270 degrees. Okay, actual, this one, you moved one quadrant, so it's going to be 90 degrees. So this triangle has been rotated 90 degrees, and we're always going to say about the origin. You're always doing it around the center, and the word is origin. Again, that, that middle dot right there is the origin, so you're twisting it around that center part. All right, so I did my full sentences for all of these ones because those are the correct answers on the actual test, but now I'm going into Mr. Richard's lazy mode, and I'm just going to say what it is. This one is a reflect over y because i am lazy as possible you're flipping it left and right easy enough we're going to go ahead and go to the other side now over here this one it looks like it's been slid around we move from c to c prime so i'm just going to be as lazy as possible and say that it went up one and it went left two wow mr richards that's all you're going to do yep what are you going to do about it nothing Boom, gotcha. Here we go on this one. Remember, we're rotating. If uh, Sorry, we're either flipping or we are rotating or something else. Someone in my class mentioned that if I flip it down and flip it left, uh, I do actually have two flips here. You could say that, and that is not even wrong. In fact, that's what I'm supposed to teach you in a couple of months, but we did it early. Anyways, this one here, we've been twisting it, twisting it. We twisted it over two quadrants. We're going to call this one here. Uh, maybe if you wanted to see that, maybe if I, I like twisted it uh, down to here and then twisted it down to there for that U, you can kind of see it's a 180 degree rotation. So this is a 180 degree rotation. And again, it's always about the origin. This one over here, it looks like a crazy shape, but it's not that big a deal. You're going from Q to Q prime. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so we're going up seven, and then we're going one, two to the right. Done. Maximum lazy. And on the last one here, this one's going to be, uh, this is the line that you're reflecting it over. It's kind of weird to see because it flips over on top of itself. You're allowed to do that. Um, this one's going to be a reflection over X. And I'm done talking. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace out.